Are you ready for the next hurricane, earthquake, tornado, tsunami, flood, pandemic? I don't know. Found out I wasn't. Stay tuned. I got the video for you. Hey, what's up, y'all? So welcome back to Just That Music and Life. And today we will be doing another and life part. Um, I've just been thinking about this whole pandemic and with everything that's going on. And we are... Well, let me speak for myself. I realize how unprepared I am. And so today in my video, I have some things here that I kind of want to show you guys to pack a basically basic emergency supply bag. And in this video, I'm just going to quickly go through some things that you can grab and go if you pack in a bag. In a case of emergency, you will have the essential things that you need. So if you're interested in this video, keep watching. So I have some notes on my phone that I'm going to be reading off to you guys. So if you see me looking down, that's the reason why, because I got some stuff on my phone right here. So the first thing we want to start out with is our basic bag. So any duffel will do. You don't need a special, specific bag. Any duffel bag will do. And the duffel bag that I have is, so this is my duffel. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. So it's just, you know, a basic duffel bag and it's, what I would use as my grab and go bag. The first thing on the list is um, water. Now, according to what they say, it should be one gallon of water per person for three days. Now, that's a lot to carry. You know, in the case of an emergency, that's a lot of water to carry, which means your bag will be heavy. So to eliminate that, you know, I'm, I say if you could have four bottles of water, the gallon of water is good because you can use it to sanitize, wash up, clean up. In case of an emergency, you have at least three to four bottles of water to carry with you for sanitization. Um, you know, washing up, washing your face, washing out your mouth, rinsing a wound, anything like that. You need ample water and you may not be able to find clean water depending on where you are and what your travels may be and what your emergency situation may be. So that's the first thing. The first thing you want to have is the water. Now don't forget three, a gallon of water per person for three days. The next thing you want to have is food. So you want to have at least three day supply of non-perishable food. Now, my non-perishables may be different from your non-perishables. Whatever you feel you can use as a non-perishable that you will, you know, won't go bad on you. So the first thing I have are these crackers, and they're just um, cheese crackers. They're just like a package of toasty cheese crackers, and there's six packs inside here. The next thing I have are some Pop-Tarts, um, and the next thing I have are these breakfast cinnamon and brown sugar bars. These, I feel like crackers are always a, um, like a non-perishable. They last a long time, so you don't really need, you know, to worry about what's going to happen with them. Also, peanut butter. Peanut butter is a great non-perishable food to have because it's also good if you have, like, low blood sugar. There's a lot of good properties inside of peanut butter. So peanut butter is another good thing to have, you know, as a non-perishable. lasts a very long time. Another non-perishable, what they recommend is canned food. So I have here some peaches, um, some Campbell's baked beans. Things like this are considered non-perishable. So you put these in your bag, you're good to go. You also want to carry a manual, like handheld can opener because you may not have a place to plug in or any type of electricity. So you want to have one of these just to be able to, you know, open the cans that you may have had with you. But after the non-perishables, you want to have a battery powered or hand cranked radio. And I don't have mine right here, so I'm gonna insert a picture of the hand cranked or battery powered radio. This is in case that you need to hear any type of news reports coming in, you know, the weather report, any type of, you know, alerts. In the case of an emergency and also you can use a go bag or an emergency go bag say if your house if there's a fire if there's a flood um, if there's a pandemic re regardless of what the situation is you can always use an emergency go bag because it has everything that you need as an emergency to grab and to go the next thing I have here oh with my perishables I also have little packets of oatmeal 
as long as you can get water which if you carry water if you end up with some clean water you can make this and it is a quick meal it may not you know have all the goodies in it that you want like fruit and all that stuff but this could be a non used as a non-perishable as well the next thing I have on the list is a flashlight so you want to make sure that you have a flashlight in any case of an emergency you have some sort of light this can be used as a signal signaling thing for somebody to find where you are you know just to see your way when it gets dark those types of things so you want to make sure you have a flashlight you want to make sure you have a first aid kit which I actually have right here just a couple of emergency supplies and inside of the emergency kit are just basic things some band-aids um, bacterial wipes like wet ones and antibacterial um, wipes for your hands then I have some burn gel it's aloe allocane burn gel numbing gel alcohol swab pads so inside my first aid kit those are the things I have you also want to bring with you or pack in your bag a face mask now as you guys know we're dealing with this whole COVID-19 you know pandemic so this is something that honestly I would have never I would have never thought of I would have been like you know I would have never thought of needing a face mask in like right now today without like an emergency or some sort of you know chemical leak or you know something like that I would have never ever thought so this is really something that we all as a people as a nation we need to think about because we assume that oh it could never happen to me and yet and all we're all walking around like this so once again you want to incorporate this in your emergency go bag you want to have some alcohol alcohol is great as you guys know for like disinfecting cleaning wounds sanitizing anything like that alcohol um, the highest proof that you can find this one is 91% so and if you can't find the high proof whatever alcohol you can get your hands on also want to have extra battery any type of extra batteries for whatever supplies that you may be carrying with you make sure that you have extra batteries to go inside of whatever it is that you're carrying whether it's your flashlight um, also a portable battery I don't have one on me but I do have a portable battery for my cell phone to keep it charged anything like that you want to have extra you want to pack these as well inside of your emergency go bag you want to have like a pair of pliers needle nose um, wire snippers because you never know what you may need to turn on turn off you never know what you may you know come across where you're like you know you just need to tighten something loosen something so a pair of pliers are essential I also have these multi-purpose uh, tools right here and as you can see they have knives files mini saws you know needle nose pliers as well um, this is a little scissor you know so these things are are very important to have in your gold bag so you have one that's less expensive I got this one from Amazon and then this one is a little more expensive I'm sure you can pick it up like Home Depot and any other tool supply store but these things are great to have in your bag this one has a little hammer on it this one has a little um, crevice where you can like pull up a, a nail or anything like that and all the other parts that come on it so these you absolutely want to incorporate in your go bag and they actually all fold in and it just comes down to one little tiny you know little instrument here and they make for great saving <laughs> life-saving situations if need be you can cut if you're driving you can cut a seat belt off you know if you're stuck in something this is what you want to have you want to have a whistle now I don't have a whistle just a regular like blow whistle like the coaches use it use you know you'll see a coach use it for football teams soccer teams all those types of sports just a regular blow whistle I'll post a picture up here so you just get an idea of what type of whistle I'm talking about whistles are great because you can use them to 
notify someone of where you are like if you're blowing that whistle and someone's trying to find you and say you don't have any electronics and you can't call them or you're not like you know talking or facetiming you can blow the whistle and just keep blowing that whistle and until the person can get closer and closer to your location and to where you are you can also use a whistle for an emergency situation if something's happening to you somebody's attacking you somebody's robbing you you can blow that whistle and you know scream help at the same time and as you're blowing that whistle someone can come to your location and possibly come to your rescue as well garbage bags with moist you know like a wipe baby wipe any type of wipes and what you want that for is your own personal use so you have like a package of wipes these are just flushable baby wipes and you have garbage bags flushable baby wipes as well as these now the good part about most of this stuff is you can get it at Dollar Tree so you can get most of this stuff for one dollar and this is for like your personal use if you need to use the bathroom you know whichever end it's coming out of you have wipes you have something to go inside of tie it up you know toss it off and keep it moving I would suggest carry some hand warmers these are very very simple you just take them you break them up or some 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 of the other ones you can shake them and this can keep your body temperature warm this can be like life or death if you're in a, a climate where it's super super cold and you know hypothermia sets in all types of things this can be something that you can tuck into your clothing and stay warm put inside gloves and stay warm so I would suggest carrying you know a package of this even if you're not in a cold climate it's good to have in your emergency go bag I will have one in mine I live in New York City we get all types of weather but if I had to travel from here to an emergency climate don't know where that may be don't know where I may end up nights are cold you know you have it so along with all of your emergency essential I would also have like you know a small stick of deodorant another item that would be really essential to bring are matches just basic kitchen matches just strike it on the side and you have a fire Make sure you keep them in a plastic bag a plastic bag or something like that so that they do not get wet because once they're wet they're not able to be used anymore you also want to incorporate a toothbrush this is a travel case once again Dollar Tree and inside the travel case is just a toothbrush toothbrush you know like a small travel toothpaste maybe a small travel mouthwash um, just for hygiene purposes you want to have a copy of any birth certificate social security card um, driver's license ID passport those things are very very important to have a copy of in your bag you also want to have your prescription medicine so I have asthma and I have eczema so for me, and I also suffer with chronic dry eye. Here I have my pump. This is my albuterol pump. This goes in my bag. I have prescription medicine for my asthma. This goes in my bag. And these are my um, Theratears for extra dry eye. This goes in my bag. Those are the, some of the things you want to put in an emergency bag. You also may want to incorporate a pair of extra change of clothes. A pair of shoes something comfortable not high heels or, or anything like that just something comfortable sneaker any type of comfortable shoe just in case you get wet you need to change out of your clothes you need to put on drier clothes or you're cold and you need to add clothes to your body you also would like to incorporate a blanket any type of warm blanket sleeping bag um, you know fleece blanket anything that's warm that you can use to either sleep on, sleep in, throw over you, cover your body with for all different situations. Um, I wanted to do this video because we're doing, we're, we're going through this COVID-19 and we're all going through this together and we're all experiencing it in our own individual ways. And it got me thinking, I used to have an emergency um, grab and go bag and little by little you know you start taking stuff out of it you also want to have cash ATM machines may not be operable you may not be able to get to a bank so you also want to have 
emergency cash or anything worth of value that you can trade in and say hey you know I have this you know can can you give me that I think it's all important for us to take the moment and realize that in the case of an emergency how prepared are you and I looked at myself and I'm just like in the case of an emergency I'm not that prepared I don't have a prepared bag my stuff is all over the house and in the case of an emergency I don't have time to pack so I will now from here on out pack myself an emergency bag make sure you remember where you put it don't put it someplace where you can't get it access in the back in the attic somewhere make sure it's someplace maybe in the bottom of the closet that you use daily you know put it in a designated spot so that you can grab it and go have any other suggestions or anything you would like to add or you know that I left out leave it in the comments below give this video a thumbs up give yourselves a thumbs up for watching subscribe to my channel ring the bell and I'll see you in the next video peace